When winter comes howling into Montreal, it lays siege to Canada's biggest city by dumping eight feet of snow onto the streets between November and April. In this motor age, even a six-inch snowfall can paralyze a city by crippling its transportation. So Montreal, a city more vulnerable than most, because it is built on an island and around a mountain, fights grimly back against an enemy that always returns. And so the word goes out. Park all cars off the streets. Make way for the snow fighters. Even as the storm strikes, with its threat of stranglehold on 850 miles of streets, the strategy of counterattack is being plotted at headquarters. Okay, thank you. It's getting worse. We'll be working all night. Get everybody on the job. I'll call the district engineers. Be sure those hills are kept open in the central district. Right, sir. How's traffic up in the hills? Got all your spreaders out? Okay, keep them working. Don't let that traffic get bogged down. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hold on. Bobby, go up here. Right away. Yes. Kazanik. Yeah. Come on, Kazanik. There are another one. Yes, sir. Go up by Kodanay. Okay. And see those. Okay, go with you. That's you. Miller. Get in the truck, sir. Do the box. Okay. Clearing around midnight. Good. Tell everyone to get ready to load on Schedule A tonight. Pull all the equipment in from the other districts into center. On Schedule A, right. Takes a lot of heavy equipment. Blowers, plows, graders, tractors, spreaders, and jeeps. 40,000 tons of sand, 20,000 tons of salt, and a mobile force of 2,700 men to fight these winter battles, to keep the streets open for traffic.
Sister from University to Bishop. This is okay. Windsor from Dorchester to San Antoine. This is correct. Not going fast enough. We have to clear the downtown portion before the morning traffic starts coming in. What's the matter here? We had trouble with parked cars. This guy seems ahead of schedule. Pull that crew off St. Dennis and bring it over here. That's where we need them, all right. It'll be tight, but we have to make it. We'll make it, sir. Sixty billion cubic feet of snow picked up and hauled away every winter at a cost of four million dollars, which literally goes down the drain. This is the job that has to be done if the complex patterns of a great city's daily life, all based on communication, are to be kept from breakdown. And so, at last, a chance to relax. Traffic begins to pick up again. Soon its ebb and flow will be back to normal, while the snow fighters await the next threat from wintry skies. And although the men of the city streets department look on snow as their silent enemy, up on the mountain, out in the country, anywhere away from the traffic lanes, Montrealers also know it as an unfailing source of beauty, pleasure, and delight. A familiar and ever-welcome friend. <laughs> 